everyone, it's Michelle from the Pete Foundation. I just wanted to take the time to thank all of our supporters for everything you've done for us this year. We figured since we can't have our usual supporter thank you get together where we give our annual progress report that we will come to you instead. So if you're interested in hearing more about our progress this year, keep watching this video. Like so many others, COVID impacted all of our events and projects this year, but thanks to your generosity, we were able to overcome those challenges in innovative ways. So first, some things that we've continued from previous years. Of course, we continued Peat Fest, although instead of the usual three-day music festival, it was two COVID-friendly outdoor concerts. And we're extremely proud to have been able to come up with the completely socially distanced and safe concert model that allowed us to hold Pete Fest this year. Huge shout out to the Pete Fest team and all the volunteers and our sponsors for making that happen this year. Both concerts sold out in record time and we were able to raise around $10,000 for our cause. We also continued the Pete Fest poster art competition and the competition for 2021 is actually underway right now. So if you know any students in grades four through 12 who would like to submit for a cash prize, please encourage them to do so. They can find details about that on our website. We also continued to speak openly about mental health on public platforms. So for example, we spoke on WHAS, WDRB, Spectrum News, Today's Woman Magazine, and Louisville Public Media. Of course, 2020 has also presented new opportunities for us to stomp the stigma. For example, in May, we offered COVID mental health care packages and those sold out so quickly that we have decided to launch a winter version and those will be out soon. This year we also worked with NAMI Louisville to produce an educational video that will be used as part of the mental health awareness efforts at JCPS. And we collaborated with Project Semicolon and Seven Counties on an online storytelling event on World Suicide Prevention Day. Perhaps our most exciting accomplishment this year was the introduction of the mental health flag. It was a collaborative effort by the entire Louisville mental health community and it's meant to symbolize support for all efforts in mental health and those affected by mental illness. And our collective goal is to make this flag into a global symbol of compassion, acceptance, and progress. And we truly believe that this is a major step towards eliminating the stigma associated with mental illness. And shout out to Oates Flags right here in Louisville for being so instrumental in that effort. Flags are available through our website and have already been sold across the US and in Europe and even Australia. Another major step the Pete Foundation took this year was hiring our very first employee. And we're very fortunate to have received special funding specifically for the Pete Foundation to take this step. Um, and we're excited to welcome Danielle onto the team to lead our marketing and development efforts. Expanding our team means that we can expand our reach and do more work toward our mission. So welcome to the team, Danielle. Lastly, I would like to mention a couple exciting things that we have in the works. Um, we're currently working on a citywide campaign designed to encourage wellness locally as we move into the winter months. And our goal is to circulate the mental health flag as much as possible with a huge push in the week of December 7th through 11th. And we'll do this through social media and participation from local businesses, um, news media, community partners, and even the University of Louisville School of Medicine. And here I really need to give a big shout out to Heine Brothers Coffee um, because for that entire week their cup lids will feature the mental health flag as a freezing cap sticker. So thank you so much Heine Brothers for helping us raise awareness. Last but not least, we're working with experts and JCPS to begin producing a comprehensive video library that will be designed to supplement mental health education curriculum in middle and high schools. And it will be a series of short impactful videos that will facilitate education on topics ranging from mental health disorders to trauma to uh, substance abuse. Um, so we have some really big plans in the works and we couldn't be more excited. Once again, thank you all so much for supporting the Pete Foundation this year. All the work we do is made possible by you, so thank you. And we look forward to stopping the stigma with you in 2021.